Barbara and John and six other people go through a doorway one at a time. In how many ways can eight people go through the doorway if John go through the doorway after Barbara with no one in between? Part 2. The number of ways in which the eight people can go through the doorway if John go through the doorway after Barbara. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Otherwise, just watch how I do it. So part 1. So we know that there are 8 people. N is equal to 8 if you like. The condition is this. John goes through the doorway after Barbara. So we have 8 people. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So John have to be go after Barbara. So we put B here and J here for John. So have to be in that order. So if we tie them up together, that become 1. So now the number of arrangement is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all together. So which is 7 factorial. And then have to be in that order. So that's the answer. So the answer is 540. Part 2. The number of ways in which the 8 people can go through the doorway if John goes through the doorway after Barbara. So in another word, as long as John is after Barbara, that's all we need. So we just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if Barbara is here, so this means that John have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 choices. So we have 7 first. That is for John. And then the number of people left is 6. So which is time by 6 factorial. So if Baba is on the second position, so this means that John can have either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 choices. So we add 6 and then you times 6 other people. So let's say if John choose this place, so therefore 6 people, the 6 other people have 6 arrangement, so 6 factorial. So if Baba start here, for instance, so therefore John can only have 5 choices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 choices, either one of them. So 5. And 6 other people have 6 arrangement. So that means 6 factorial. So let's say if Barbara here, so John can have 4 choices. So and 6 other people still have 6 arrangement. So if we continue on like that, so all the ways, and then John can only have 1 choice if Barbara here. So which is 1 times 6 factorial. So this we can write as 6 factorial. we we'll take common factor out. So it's just same as 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So now it's equal to 6 factorial times. So 7 and 3 which is 10. 6 and 4 is 10. So 20. So 25 and then add 328. So 6 factorial times 28. And if just put in calculator, so that is 6 factorial times 28. So which equal to 20,160. So 20,160. Sophie has five color blocks. One red, one blue, one green, one yellow, and one white. She stacks two, three, four, or five blocks on top of one another to form a vertical tower. How many different towers are there that she could form that are three blocks high? Part 2. How many different towers can she form in total? Please stop the video and try this one yourself.
so for three blocks high so we have one two three so we have red blue green yellow and white so five all together so the first one we can have a choice of either red blue green yellow or white that is five choice and then we pick one ready so four left we have four choices and then the last one we have three choices so if we time them together so which is five times four is twenty and then times three which is sixty how many different towers can she form in total so this means that she can either form stack of two three four or five so let's say two first so the first one we have two blocks so which is the first choice we have either red blue green yellow or white so which is five choice and we pick one already so you got four left so we time this together which is 20 that is two blocks high so for three blocks so one two three so which is five four three so which is if you time them together five times four is 20 and then time three is 60 and for four blocks high one two three four so we have five choices and then four left and then three and then two so we times them together so 120 and then the other one is five blocks so one two three four five which is equal to five factorial otherwise so five factorials so which is 120 as well so now all we need to do is we just add them up so the total number of different ways is 20 plus 60 to 40 and we add them up so which give me 320 the front of a building there are five garage doors two of the doors are to be painted red one is to be painted green one blue and one orange how many possible arrangements are there for the colors on the doors two how many possible arrangements are there for the colors on the doors if the two red doors are next to each other please stop the video and try this one yourself so part one so we know that there are five garage doors so we have one two three four five and then we have five colors to choose from even though they are two red okay which is count as two so we have five choices so second one we have four choices and then we have three choices and then two choices and one left so if we time together all right that is five factorial but then because we have two red so that is let's say red and red so if you switch around still red and red is the same so therefore we need to divide it by two factorials because we have two red that is equal to five times four times three times two times one over two times one so these two cancel out so which is five times four is twenty so two times three is six so which is sixty otherwise we just use calculator so we just go five factorial divided by two factorial and the answer is 60 part two so we want two red doors are next to each other so what that means is this one two three four five and two red together red and red so we tie them up so that is become one so we have one two three four so which is the first one we have four choices and second one we have three and then two and then one these two red and red so red and red again if you switch around it's still the same so we don't need to time two factorial and we already tied up is one 
So that is equal to 4 factorial. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. Otherwise, just use your calculator for factorial. Thank you so much for watching.